Więc tak, gramy dalej po mojej chwilowej przerwie. No i coś mi w gardle tak dziwnie. Ale cóż. E, zauważyłem, że bardzo wolno poziom się wbija. Mr. Don, I have some news. Thank Merlin about my sweet friend Mary. I'm so sorry, Mr. Dunn. She was an innocent victim. Poor Mary. Fighting for the Amulet to the bitter end, no doubt. A noble sacrifice. She truly was a remarkable woman. Remarkable. She didn't deserve this. Few do. I am sorry about your friend. But you'll be relieved to know that I cleared out the spiders. It's safe to return now. You? You cleared out the spiders? I can't believe it, but I'm certainly relieved. I imagine the first order of business will be to help the Amulet rebuild. I suppose I have nothing to fear from dead spiders. That's the spirit. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you again for all you've done. I shall keep you apprised of the Hamlet's rebuilding. Glad I could be of help, and I look forward to visiting your shop the next time I'm in Aronshire. To dearly departed Mary. A story of cricket? So much to you know. Am I in trouble? Ferdinand Pratt thinks you should be. Says you stole his frame. I wouldn't call it stolen. Relocated's more like it. How do I put this nicely? Ferdinand Pratt is a postulant boil, and he's lucky I didn't have him sealed in a wall. He truly is rather foul, isn't he? All he does is spy on students in here and report back to the headmaster. Sometimes, if there's nothing to report, he'll make it up. I spent four hours in detention last week, all because he told Black that I was planning to drain the lake, whatever that means. It was the last straw. He and his frame had to go. May I ask where you put him? Well, I didn't put him anywhere. The frame is likely with the fine gents I paid to snatch it. They camp in a ruin by the coast. I just wanted it far enough away that I'd never have to think about Ferdinand Pratt ever again. You do know he's screaming in the library as we speak. Oh, for the love of Merlin. If you ask me, he's got nothing to scream about. I could have had him put in the hogshead. The pampered Pratt would have hated it. Grimy walls, smell of goats. And the patrons, they eat snooty princes like Ferdinand for dinner. But what's done is done. He isn't here anymore, and if I were you, I should enjoy it. Lovely chatting with you. Aha. I co ja dalej mam do niej podejść? O co biega tutaj? Nie mogę z nią już rozmawiać. Coś się chyba zbugowało. No rozpotkajmy się najpierw z Popi i robimy wszystkie zadania po kolei jak są. Just the person I was hoping to see. I see Doran finally convinced you to leave the Snidgets. If anyone can keep them out of poacher hands, it's the Centaurs. And I wanted to thank you. When the poachers ambushed us, I... It was nice not to face them alone. Of course. It's the sort of thing friends do for each other, isn't it? I suppose so. I am glad you came to Hogwarts. It's already been my best year. I wouldn't want a repeat of Hauntel Hall, of course, but I did enjoy the Three Broomsticks. Had no idea how lovely it was there. Had you never been to the Three Broomsticks? I used to spend most of my time with Highwing, and, well, 
I don't know how Serona feels about hippogriffs popping in for a butterbeer. Highwing's the only one I would have gone with. Or Gran, of course. Nothing wrong with that. Highwing's good company. She is. Although I am beginning to see the appeal of her uh, human friends. It was nice to talk about my parents and Gran with someone. And share Highwing. It has all been a pleasure, Poppy. Do try and stay out of trouble. Don't know that I can. We've taken on poachers twice now, successfully. I rather think you've helped me develop a taste for it. And with centaurs as allies, I might actually go looking for trouble. You and I should meet for a butterbeer soon. Perhaps Hywin can join us? Revelio. Będę musiał powoli zacząć robić te misje z, 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 jak to się nazywa, z tymi mapami, ale nie chcę ich robić, bo jestem zbyt tępy i ich nie rozumiem. Też kilka rzeczy mnie tak zastanawia, jak tutaj masz te wszystkie twoje... Masz te znajdźki, nie? To tak. Masz kilka... Kilka masz tych z Merlinem, nie? Ale... Nie ma tyle... O tak. Nie ma tyle znajdziek z Merlinem, ile jest potrzebnych do skończenia tego questa, czy tam archiwementu, bo jest ich znacznie więcej. A 52 są potrzebne do skończenia questu, a jest ich 90 coś. Oni zawsze mają kilka skrzynek. Koncentracja 3. Czy koncentracja to nie było właśnie to moje takie top of the top? Gniazda menu podręcznego są pełne, więc tu musiało być co innego. <coughs> Ojejku. Dusze, dusze się. Aloha Mora. A dlaczego się duszę? Z tego względu, że mam chore gardło, a ja jak na złość wypiłem właśnie chłodne picie. Rebellion. Here. 
Aha. Może Akio tu nie działa. Wingardium A, dobra. To wygląda na zadanie dla... Revelio. Confringo. Repairer. Revelio. A to jest reguła. W tych łamigłówkach Merlina co jest reguła, że są liczby nieparzyste. Masz y, albo elementów do wykonania 1, 3 albo 5. Wydaje mi się, że do tej pory tylko tak miałem. Potężne zaklęcia Sebastiana. Tak samo fajna sprawa, że jak gdzieś na mieście przejdziesz się koło, znaczy na mieście, w mapie świata. Ojej, tu. przejdziesz się koło miejsca, gdzie masz, no, gdzie masz do zebrania jakąś, jakąś tam stronę z, no, z notatnika, tak? Czy stronę z przewodnika? To ci się to podświetla i zostaje. I can see why Feldcroft needs help. Ranrock's loyalists are hiding out near Feldcroft. They must have the other crate of Chinese chomping cabbages. That was meant for me. Ranrock will always fight for what he stood for. Co to było? Revelio. That's all the crates of Chinese chomping cabbages. I'd better go and see Mr. Thistlewood's friend in Feldcroft. Hello there. Do you have the special delivery from my dear friend, Eddie? Hello, Mr. Ndi. Eddie Thistlewood sent me. Yes, he told me to expect you. Do you have the Chinese chomping cabbages? I have them right here. Marvelous. This will go a long way towards protecting the hamlet from Ranrock's loyalists. The same foul curs who, I'm willing to guess, intercepted them in the first place, along with Rookwood's lot. Feldcroft owes a debt of gratitude to you and Eddie. Thank you for your help. What do you have for sale? I see that you sell strange things. 
A nie, no takie badziewia. Stop by any time. Let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. Rebellion. Confringo. Rebellion. Confringo. Revelio. Confringo. No, it's pink, yeah. Revelio. Ja tego przypadkiem już nie rozwaliłem. Revelio. O, tu jest. Piąty, tak? No nie mówcie, że to jest za mało. A tu stoję i skanuję obszar Rivelio. Telling what lies in wait for me in there. Revelio. No, it's to make his temper, Roche. Confringo! 
Merlin himself would be proud. Dobra, może nie aż taki tempy. A ile tutaj było? Tu była liczba parzysta, czy nie parzysta tych kamieni? Zapomniałem liczyć. Przez pierwszy moment liczyłem, później... Jak tak zacząłem biegać, skakać, latać, pływać, to wyszedłem... ...i wypadłem. Revelio. Okej, okay, to tam mam e, coś do zdobycia, coś do zrobienia. Jest jakaś skrzynka i jest coś jeszcze, czyli strona z przewodnikiem. Chyba ja ja sobie robię. Revelio. Niewybaczalność ty. To może być dobre, ma trójkę w nazwie. Revelio. Nie chcą się palić. Oj! Przepraszam za uszy. Tell Madame Twiddle about what happened. Revelio. Więc tak. Tutaj przy tym handlarzu zrobimy sobie chwilę przerwy. 
Trzymajcie się. Hej, cieplutko.